Hello, welcome to SIG events using cloud events to create an interoperable CI CD. Before we dive in, let me introduce myself. My name is Andrea Frittoli. I work as a software engineer and developer advocate at IBM. My focus is on open source and DevOps technologies. I'm a member of the Technical Oversight Committee at the Continuous Delivery Foundation. I'm also the co-chair of the event special interest group, as well as a maintainer of the Tecton project. This presentation is the result of the work that we did together with Mauricio Salatino. Unfortunately, it was not possible for both of us to present together. So here I am. I'd like to start today um, with a little story. So two DevOps engineers meet in the corridor of KubeCon and Cloud Native Con North America. They've both been working on setting up their CD pipelines for their respective teams, and they are now sharing ideas and experiences. The first one I've been working with Tecton. His team is really happy about how quickly they could set up build and deployment pipelines using existing building blocks. The second one, I've been working with Captain. Her team had a positive experience with quality grades, gates and remediation flows. Now they are thinking that they don't really want to choose. They'd like the best of the two worlds. Oh, uh, and they will have to integrate the pipelines from the security teams as well. Mm, that run on a Jenkins infrastructure. So is that possible? How many point-to-point -point integration will they need? One way to integrate the different platforms might be through events. That way they'd achieve a decoupled, scalable and fault-tolerant integration. Some of the platform already speak cloud events. However, the issue is that even with cloud events, there are no consistent abstractions or shared semantics between the different projects. And this is right the kind of issues that the CDF wants to help solving. So CDF stands for Continuous Delivery Foundation, and that is a place where all the projects related to delivering application and software can gather shared ideas and collaborate. The CI-CD landscape keeps growing and there is a real need for best practices. Examples showing how to use multiple tools together and documenting what each project is about. The CD Foundation is home for Jenkins, JenkinX, Tecton, Spinnaker, among others that are in the incubation stage. If you want to collaborate and join the foundation, visit the CDF site and get in touch. So maybe we can use events, um, but we'll need some kind of standardization. Inside the CD Foundation, there are several special interest groups, and one of them is focused on events, the events SIG. This group was born to define a shared vocabulary about CI, NCV, and software supply chain and software life cycle in general. The main idea behind creating a common language with well-defined terms is to enable tools to share information about what they are doing. So they can be wired together in cases when to solve a problem you need more than one tool. We are focused on creating this vocabulary in a protocol agnostic way. Just a set of definitions that can be implemented on top of every programming language. We also have chosen our first binding, which is Cloud Events, because Cloud Events already provides its own bindings to different protocols, such as HTTP or NATS. Um, so we can reuse and extend Cloud Events for CD purposes. We are also developing a Go SDK for clients to consume and produce Cloud Events related to continuous delivery, and more languages are coming. Our goal is to avoid the need for one-to-one -one integration between each tool. 
So rather than using synchronous prescriptive APIs, we chose to rely on descriptive events with shared semantics across projects. To create a shared vocabulary is quite hard, as every project and initiative will define their own terms, concepts, and semantics. We focused on four logical buckets for our events. Each of these buckets encapsulates a set of entities. The core buckets contain pipelines and tasks, which are quite common, well understood, and there are many implementation of pipeline engines out there. The source code version control bucket is all about where do we store source code and how do we manage changes. Continuous integration is all about feedback loops. So here the entities are builds that needs to happen, tests associated to those builds, as well as the output, which can be considered artifacts. Finally, we have continuous deployment. In this area, we could go broad and focus on every possible scenarios, embed system, cloud, traditional deployments. We chose for now to focus on cloud native apps, at least for the first iteration. So we talked about events, but what are events? An event is a data record expressing an occurrence and its context. In other words, an event is something that has happened and the information that we can gather at the time when it had that happened. Events can help us to understand and externalize what tools are doing and provide a very decoupled way of creating integration by listening to these events and reacting to them. We are defining the vocabulary in an event format, meaning that instead of creating entities, we want to represent things that happen to those entities. For example, pipeline started, task completed, branch created, change submitted, etc. We are focusing on events because with events, we can create loosely coupled integration between these different tools in the ecosystem. We have chosen cloud events which is a CNCF specification, is our first binding. This means that we will be extending the spec with events that are specific to CD scenarios and reusing all the tools and existing bindings for the cloud event spec. So the two engineers from our story would be really happy about a common event format. They could use it to integrate Tecton and Captain and maybe others and benefit from both platforms. However, they are concerned that by distributing the workflow across multiple platforms, they might lose the ability to observe, visualize and measure the overall workflow. This is a problem that we care about deeply at this SIG. We want our common vocabulary to enable users to create visibility across distributed workflows through the shared format and semantics. And we actually built something already to help our two engineers. Quite early in the process of kickstarting the discussion around a common vocabulary, we realized that we cannot just define a shared language without having a real use case and real tools talking to each other. So we built a POC, a proof of concept, with a concrete scenario in mind to test our assumptions. We're going to be looking at a demo running on Kubernetes of two different open source projects talking to each other to build, deploy and monitor the release of a web application. We wanted to highlight how these tools were not designed to work together. And if you wanted to make them work together, you'll need to make each of these tools understand each other. We wanted to avoid creating this very specific integration point, And that's exactly where the CD events play a very important role. In this demo, you'll see three open source projects in action. Tecton is a CI CD pipeline engine that extends Kubernetes with the concept of uh, pipelines and tasks. Tecton is very non opinionated. That means that you can create any kind of pipeline to do really whatever you want to. Um, it doesn't need to be related to releasing or delivering new version of services. With Tecton, you have the freedom to create your own automation in a very cloud native way reusing all the Kubernetes tooling that already exists and reusing a catalog of existing tasks that you can benefit from. 
Tecton can listen and emit cloud events, but it's own format. Captain, on the other hand, is a much more opinionated tool to do lifecycle management of our cloud native application. It basically allows us to orchestrate different tools to cover common use cases when we are building and delivering cloud native application. It is built in a way that Captain is only in charge of the orchestration and other tools will do the job. Captain, at its core, is an event router that does the orchestration between different tools and it uses cloud events by default, but again, its own cloud events format. Captain has very interesting features that are possible because Captain keeps tracks of the context of this orchestration between different tools. So it has all the context that it needs to do, for example, quality gates before deploying new version and auto remediation policies that will kick in when things go wrong. While Canadian eventing is not a core part of the demo, we are using it because it provides the right abstraction to route cloud events between services. If you want to integrate two or more systems, you might want to rely on an eventing mechanism that provides flexibility to move events from one place to another. With Knative Eventing, as you will see in the demo, you can create triggers that are event subscription at the end, allowing the event producer to send just the one message to a known broker and whoever wants to consume these events can create a new subscription to it. This comes really handy for scalability purposes if you want to scale your integration and also to make sure that you can create the coupled architectures. So if we put everything together, this is how the overall demo scenario looks like. So on the left, top left side, we have Tecton with support for in and out events. We developed the Tecton Cloud Events controller specifically for sending CD events. On the right hand side, we have Captain, the blue box, which also supports input and output. Uh, cloud events and we developed two translation layers within Captain to translate between CD events format into the Captain own format. In the middle uh, we have the cloud event broker provided by Knative Eventing. Um, this broker will only re receive events in the cloud event format during the demo. Um, and we used events from both the CI as well as the CD bucket for this. Finally, on the bottom layer, you, um, you see we have view monitor manager layer. And for the demo, we have we are using the cloud events player that is able to visualize events that are sent. And triggers are used then to subscribe to events. So when Tecton, Captain, or a cloud events player want to receive events, so they create um, a trigger or subscription and they can select which events they want to receive. The Cloud Events Player will receive all the events. So the flow of the demo goes like this. Um, we run the build of our application in Tecton, which sends an event about it. And then starting to do the build, the build is finished. And this event is sent then to the broker and received by Captain. Captain decides then to use, uh, to start a sequence um, there is a new package that has been produced, a new artifact that has been produced. So we want to deploy it. So it starts a deployment sequence and it sends events about this. Because Captain is not actually doing the deployment itself, the event about deployment starting is picked up by Tecton that runs the deployment pipeline. Once it's finished, again, it will send a notification, an event about deployment done. And this is picked up by Captain and used to finish the sequence. Right, but let's see this in action now. Okay, I got my local cluster, Kubernetes cluster, created with kind Kubernetes on Docker, in Docker. And I can use the Tecton client list my pipelines and I can start okay let's do this 
this again. Okay, let's see the demo in action. I have my local Kubernetes cluster. It's running on Kubernetes in Docker kind, um, which is nice. Um, it's all quite with a small footprint, so it can be executed locally. So let's first start first start my uh, Tecton pipeline. I can use the TKN. Uh, CLI client, which is the Tecton CLI, to do Tecton pipeline start, and then I run the build artifact pipeline. There are a few parameters required, but the default value for them, they're all valid. So let's just get this running. So, and while it runs, we can stream the logs on the console. And you see it's cloning the repo. And I wanted to have a look at the pipeline while it runs. So this is a description of the pipeline and you can see there are input parameters as I was saying, the GitHub repository, the Git repository and revision, um, where the app to be built is, where to push uh, the resulting docker container image, my local kind registry, um, and so forth. I'm using Kaneko for the build, uh, but I wanted to highlight here um, that there are three results, uh, tech results produced by this build, the artifact ID, artifact name, and artifact version. And these are going to be used by Tecton Cloud Events Controller to generate um, a CD event of, of type artifact um, that is then uh, letting any listener know that a certain artifact was produced. We can also have a look at the pipeline running here in the dashboard. Oh, and it's complete. So image was built and results were exported. Right, let's switch then to the captain um, bridge. So in the Cotton Bridge, we see this POC um, service in the production environment as a question mark. So if we click on it, we see that uh, we have a sequence that has been started, delivery started. The way we set it up for the demo, there is a manual approval required before the deployment is, is complete. So let's go back uh, for a moment to our diagram. And you can see Tecton executed the build. An event was sent here. It was captured by this trigger and it was sent to Captain and the Captain started the sequence. And we can also go and look into the Cloud Events player and we can see a few events. Um, the CD pipeline run queued, started and finished were all sent by Tecton and they are about the pipeline uh, lifecycle. But there is also another one also sent by Tecton, which is the CD artifact packaged event. And we can look into it, and, but we can see the, the free um, results, the free values there. And those are then picked up by, um, by Captain. So we want to check, is this what we want to deploy? Well, it's the SHA B42A ending with 492D5. You can look into um, the pipeline runs from Tecton. Right, so these are where the results and it's the B42A ending with 492D5. So yeah, that's what we want. So let's approve this. We want to deploy it. So now Captain is not going to do the deployment itself, but it's starting 
a deployment sequence, sending an event, which is then picked up by Tekton. And you see the deployment here is marked as handled by Tekton. If you go back to our Cloud Events player, we'll see that there is a CD artifact published event that was sent by the Captain CD translator service. So Captain generated the event, Captain translator service translated it into the CD events format, um, saying, okay, this artifact that was packaged by Tekton is now approved. It's available, so we mark it as published. The event goes back to the broker and Tekton picks it up and starts a new pipeline. And you can see from the events here that actually everything already happened. But let's go and have a look um, in the Tekton dashboard. So if we look at the pipeline runs, we have um, a deploy artifact pipeline run that was executed in the CD events namespace. And we can see here that deployment was created, ingress was updated, and then here are the events, queued, started and finished. And once uh, Tekton is finished doing the deployment, it sends the CD service deployed um, event which contains all the details about the pipeline run that was executed, as well as service environment ID, service name, and service version. Service name, POC here matches what we have on Captain's side, and the service version is the version of the deployment. We can actually go and look into, um, let's look at from the console. We can check pipeline runs in the CD events namespace. And we can see that there are a few results sent here. Uh, the environment ID name version and we additionally have this captain context and trigger ID that were generated by um, captain and they are transported by Tekton as results. Um, so right now these are sent as part of the body of the uh, events in the CD events protocol uh, but this is something that we are working on um, for future version of the protocol, we want to have a general facility for different application to transport application specific context and information that might be required so that can be done in both generic as well as pluggable way by the different application in the protocol. Okay, so if we go and have a look at our diagram here, Captain did the deployment. Um, sorry, Tekton did the deployment. Captain picked it up. And now um, the sequence is marked as complete. And if we go on the Captain Bridge, deployment is marked as successful. And there is even a handy link we can use that takes us to the deployed application, which is hello, KubeCon Cloud Native. Con North America. And this page was built and deployed by Tekton and Captain working together through the CD events. And um, for now, we are just using the Cloud Events player that allows us to um, view all the different events. But the idea is that we could build a tool that takes the information in all the events and correlates it together to give nice view of, for instance, the entire workflow that happened here between um, Captain and Tekton. And for that event to to pick up all the 
uh, messages. It's very simple. Um, you just need to, to create a trigger like the one that is used by the Cloud Events player. We specify the event broker, the subscriber URI, which is where the application is going to receive the messages. And if you look into one of these triggers, you can see simply specifying an empty filter is enough to receive um, all the messages. And that was our demo. And as I mentioned earlier, um, there are a lot of activities that we are performing at the SIG events uh, from uh, producing the spec, as well as developing the SDKs and tooling around and building the POC that you have just seen in action. So if you're interested in contributing, uh, please join the SIG events channel on the CDF Slack. We hold bi-weekly meetings uh, for the SIG events and as well by multi meetings specific to the vocabulary work. Um, and yeah, there are contribution welcome in many areas. And also you're welcome to implement the events that we are specifying in your own project uh, or to join existing initiatives like the Cloud Events plugin for Jenkins that is producing CD events, as well as the uh, Cloud Events controller for Tecton. So we like come as well use cases he has any kind of collaboration, really. Um, code, positive vibes are very welcome. So in these slides, I included some references uh, from the SIG uh, website, uh, the code for this POC and the event vocabulary draft that we have in place, links for the CDF, Tecton, Captain, and Knative. And I also wanted to thank um, the team from Mauricio Salatino and the entire SIG events team for the work um, on this. Uh, the captain team for the support uh, they gave when building the, the POC and for VBAF uh, um for the work he has done on the Tecton uh, Cloud Events Controller. So thank you uh, for listening today and we should have some time for questions.